I know you've been hurt, I know that you try and the boss is complaining, your phone's always ringing. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about rules for YouTube and girls that do hauls. I actually haven't seen any videos on this subject. Um, I've looked a couple of times and I never actually saw any videos on it. So I decided, you know, I'm going to make a video to hopefully help some girls that are going to start hauls soon or girls that are already doing hauls and let you in on some things that I've experienced in the past and some things that you probably should stop doing or some things that you should change a little bit. Yeah, let's get started, guys. Okay, so uh, recently I was looking at a video that Holly Wolf had done and I will tag her in this video if she wants to watch it, but she, we can kind of relate to each other. Um, she's had a lot of similar stuff happen like I have. She does hauls as well, so if you guys don't know who she is, you guys can look her up, Holly Wolf. In her video, she mentioned being banned from YouTube and, you know, a couple of things that she had done wrong in the past and what they got her for, what they gave her strikes for and stuff like that. So, I'll let you guys know a little bit about what she said, but a lot of the exact same stuff has happened to me. So, I wanted to let you guys all know what has happened and, yeah, what you can change to hopefully not get banned or a strike or a warning or anything like that. So, my kitty cat's going to join us. Krampus cat. I actually made a little list for you guys because I didn't want to forget to say anything. So, so let's start with like thumbnail pictures. Okay, so anytime I would put my entire body on a thumbnail picture, whether I was in like lingerie or a bikini, I would automatically have that thumbnail picture taken down and they would choose one for me. But the only ones they chose for me was basically my head and that's it. And I'd wonder, why are other girls allowed to show their entire body on thumbnails, but I'm not allowed to show my entire body on a thumbnail? I still don't understand why some girls can and why some girls can't. It doesn't make any sense to me. I was kind of thinking because I'm curvy, like I have a bigger chest and a bigger bum, and when I would show them on a thumbnail, they would stand out more, and that's why it would get tagged and come down. Still not sure. I'm not exactly sure what the rules are still for YouTube and try on hauls. I am not sure. This is just my experience of what I come to learn a few things for myself because they don't tell you exactly what the rules are. So thumbnail pictures. If you're going to wear lingerie or a bikini, you want to make sure you're not actually wearing it, that you're just holding a piece of it up and wear normal clothes. That way it won't get taken down in the thumbnail. Like I said, I don't know why some girls can get away with having it. Um, maybe their uh, YouTube's AI just hasn't caught on yet, but they are allowing them to have that for some reason. I feel like when you get to a certain point of subscribers, they start getting more strict on you on what you can and cannot do. So I feel like they start taking my stuff down when I start getting a little bit more subscribers. So, um, yeah, so make sure your thumbnails aren't overly sexy or else they will take them down and you'll have to keep making a new one, putting a new one up, or choosing one that they have for you. Monetized content. This is what I've learned for monetized content. If you want to have monetized content, you need to make sure that you're pretty much not doing anything overly too sexual, meaning... You know, if you're wearing bikinis, you're not showing any under boob. If you're wearing bottoms, they can't be a thong. They have to cover the entire cheek area. And um, so if you were to show part of your bum and some under boob, um, YouTube normally would uh, move your content to 18 plus. Um, my experience in the past, because um, I would do a lot of micro bikini hauls, and they would always move my content to 18 plus and I can see why because you're barely wearing anything. I didn't know why they would do that. I had no idea. And then I remember in my old hauls that I used to do, in the beginning of them, I would dance around and just have fun. I was just having fun, just dancing kind of goofy. Um, they would take my videos down and basically say that I was being too sexual in them, dancing too sexually, and I was like, what are you talking about? I'm just having fun. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not touching anywhere. And they would still take it down. They, you basically can't do that. You have to show the clothes. 
You are not allowed to touch any straps on your shirt. You're not allowed to touch your chest area. You basically have to stand with your arms down. You cannot touch your hips. You can't touch your legs. If you have any lingerie or bikinis on, you are not allowed to do that. If you touch yourself, if you touch your bikini top, if you smash your girl bits together on camera, they will take your video down or they will mark it 18 plus. Either way, you just can't do that. That is not allowed, so. I remember, um, you know, doing different poses. So if I were to wear some lingerie where I turn all the way around and I'm showing the back, like the entire cheek area, um, that could actually be taken down or they would just mark it as 18 plus. So I even had videos in the past that were marked 18 plus and I didn't feel like I was doing anything, but I was dancing kind of goofy in the beginning and I was touching my straps and I was touching other areas and smushing areas together and they would completely take my video down for doing that even though it was 18 plus. So I feel like 18 plus on YouTube is actually PG. So 18 plus does not mean normal 18 plus. On YouTube it is definitely PG and that is it. So if you think you're safe posting 18 plus on your content, you're not. <laughs> They will still take it down and they will still say that you're being way too sexual in the video even though you're not or you think you aren't and you think it's safe it's not so 18 plus you can't show any nudity whatsoever they will take it down just so you know i remember actually doing a little test with youtube one time i made an account and i posted a video actually showing some areola and I wanted to see if it would actually get posted because I've seen, you know, like nude yoga and stuff like that under educational. And as soon as I posted the video just showing a little bit of that area, it was taken down immediately. It wasn't even posted, you guys, immediately. So I don't know how people get away with posting that kind of stuff because mine didn't even stay up. It didn't even get up online. Like none, none of it got up. It was just automatically taken off. And then as soon as it was taken off, I was given a strike for that video. So you guys have to be super careful. I know it says 18 plus, but you can't, uh, like 18 plus for YouTube is PG, if that. So be careful with that. So um, yeah, like I said, you know, um, I don't know if YouTube is um, necessarily going after more curvy women, but I feel like like I said on my thumbnails, like I am curvier, so I don't know if they are, you know, like the, their AI is flagging curvy girls because it shows more, because I notice a lot of girls that are like flatter chested than me, um, they can have their thumbnails up, and I feel like a lot of their videos don't get flagged as well like mine do. Um, so maybe the AI just isn't picking up on that, but definitely I feel like curvy girls have a harder time on YouTube with try and hauls than, you know, girls that aren't, you know, don't, aren't well endowed or anything like that. So, um, another thing, um, you know, if you have like too much crack showing, like if you're, um, wearing a thong or panty or bathing suit with too much crack and you turn around, they will probably mark your video as 18 plus. Um, um, another thing that I used to do a lot is I used to wear like sheer stuff and like mesh stuff with like pasties underneath. And I've gotten my videos taken down for the mesh and the pasties when I thought, hey, everything's covered, you know, it's marked 18 plus, no one can see anything. They would still take it down and give me a warning or a strike on my video if I had, was wearing any of that. So YouTube does not like mesh, they don't like see-through, they don't like pasties. I know a lot of people are at saying, you know, do more pasties hauls or do, you know, more micro bikinis and I like doing micro bikinis but I recently got monetized so I don't want to lose my monetization because of you know people want to see micro bikinis I feel like I have other content where you guys can see the micro bikinis I don't want to risk my YouTube channel um, just to wear micro bikinis I feel like it's not worth it for me and I feel like micro bikinis are basically like wearing pasties and I don't need any more flagged content. I really don't. So I'm going to try to avoid those on here. Sorry guys, I know you like micro bikinis, but can't do it. We're saving that for other content. <laughs> 
So anyway, so I just want to put it out there. So um, basically, if you want your content monetized, you basically have to do hauls like, you know, dresses and, you know, summer clothes and stuff that isn't overly sexual. And then also the keywords play a big part in this as well. So if your keywords or tags on your videos have any of the words like sexy or underboob or lingerie or any of those words, um, you can't get monetized for that. They're not going to monetize you if you're showing stuff to like, you know, 10, 12 year olds. Like, they're not going to let you monetize that. So they will automatically mark your video as 18 plus. And if they mark your video as 18 plus too many times, you can actually get your channel taken down. Um, so make sure you, you, uh, you know, look your video over carefully. You don't want to have your video taken down. You don't want to have your channel taken down. Yeah, so a lot of the things I said, you know, um, if you have, if you're showing under boob or like at the pubic mound area, that all has to be covered if you want to monetize your channel. Um, I mean, like some of the stuff I have on my channel, I am monetized right now. I have a few 18 plus stuff. I'm trying to get away from that. I don't want to do 18 plus content on my YouTube channel. Um, I want to keep getting monetized. So I make sure when I order stuff that, you know, the bikinis are covering everything, that they're not going to show anything that shouldn't be shown because I want to monetize my channel. So if you want your channel to be all 18 plus content, just know that you can't get monetization for 18 plus content. If you do, sometimes it's limited, but it's rare. Um, normally if your channel is all 18 plus, you can't get monetized for it. So I feel like you're basically working and getting no money for a not monetized channel. Also, if you get a warning on your channel, the warning stays on your channel, it never goes away. Um, you can get three strikes on your channel, which means your channel is killed. Um, the strikes um, do go away, I believe, within 90 days. So if you get one strike, it'll go away within 90 days. I remember Holly in her video was mentioning that she was getting strikes and they would just stay up there. And as soon as a strike went away, she would get another one. I feel like, you know, the AI or YouTube or whoever is kind of playing with you a little bit to, um, you know, try to get your channel taken down. Um, if they don't like you, they'll just keep it up. I feel like they're kind of playing games sometimes, and that's what I hate about it, is, um, yeah, the game playing, it feels like they're playing with you, but, um, yeah, so definitely don't do that. Um, like I said, if you want to get monetized, don't do anything sexual, don't write anything sexual in the um, tags or keywords or anything like that for your channel. It's not worth it, you guys. Um, so, you know, if you're doing a lingerie haul, don't write the word lingerie, especially also in your thumbnails. You shouldn't write the word lingerie in your thumbnail if you want to get monetized. If you want to, like normally what I do now is I will write like, you know, try on haul, like Avid Love Try On Haul because I work for Avid Love a lot. So I'll just write Avid Love Try On Haul. It's kind of vague, but people can see, you know, in a picture that it's some lingerie. Or another thing I'll do is, you know, like I said before, I'll hold the lingerie up in the picture while I'm wearing full clothes on the thumbnail. And um, also, you know, if you're doing like a panty haul, but it's 18 plus, because the play market is 18 plus, um, I would just um, write, you know, like Calvin Klein undies haul. Like undies, like a, you know, kind of a vague word for underwear or panties. Panties is not a good word to use on YouTube if you want to get monetized as well, so. Um, you know, this is just my point of view and stuff I have learned. I'm sure I haven't listed everything. I don't know. I, there still could be like a ton more stuff that I don't know, but this is just stuff I've learned in the past and I'm hoping it helps you guys out a little bit. <laughs> like I said, you know, you can watch Holly Wolf's video. I will link that down below in the description box if you guys want to see it. She lists a lot of good points and she definitely has way more followers than I have. So um, I'm on my way up there. So anyway, I feel like she gives really good advice on this as well. So, um, you know, since I haven't seen any other videos like this, I thought I'd share my point of view. And since I saw her video, how she was talking about, I'm like, wow, they're doing the same thing to me continuously. And I feel like, you know, once you get a warning, they kind of start messing with you a little bit or taking your thumbnails down more often and just kind of like playing games a little bit. I don't know if their AI for YouTube is set up like that to just catch you and, you know, mess with you more and more. Um, it's kind of slowed down now since I've been monetized and, you know, doing better hauls and stuff like that. But I feel like they kind of pick on people a little more than other people. So, um... They definitely have like crazy picked on me in the past 
and you know I almost gave up on it I was like said yeah I'm not gonna do this anymore and I'm glad I did and I'm glad I kept going for it and um, finally I'm at a place now where I'm doing really good on YouTube and getting away from like the micro hauls and stuff like that because I have other places where I can show that kind of content I don't need to show it on YouTube I'm having fun doing like hauls like dresses and stuff like that for you guys um, I still do some fun stuff, you know, but I wish I could dance around more in my videos, but they flag that as well. I like having fun in my videos, and when I can't have fun, it's kind of like, you know, it's a little sad because I used to have so much fun like dancing around Goofy and stuff like that, but can't do it anymore, you guys, unfortunately, but so I, I really hope this helped you out and you learned a little bit of information from me. So check out Holly Wolf's video. Like I said, I'll link her link to the video below so you guys can check that out as well and get a little bit more information from it. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you like and subscribe to my channel for more content and I will see you guys next time.